Hello and welcome back, Power Pros World, Koshi Yen, game number three. MC Scales versus Matt, Kappa Academy versus the famed ASU Sun Devils, who've been putting in work, they've been playing all these games. We're going to be seeing things from Kappa Academy's perspective, and oh, unfortunately, uh, Daisuke has the purple mood. So I don't know if Scales will make the change here. Looks like he might roll with it. I think he does, but hey, the good thing is Akane, the starter here, for Kappa Academy is uh, in yellow mood. So this will be Kappa Academy's first game. This is Matt, the ASU Sun Devil's second game. 0-1-1 so far, 1-0 defeat against Kangang. You'll be the away team here. And Akane takes the field. The lefty, one of the better pitchers here in the league. And we take a look at Takeshi over at third. And I think I just noticed Takeshi lefty. Is Takeshi a left-handed third baseman like Tachikawa? We'll have to wait and see. Here comes Akane. 164 kilometer per hour. Has the iron ball, which is going to be quite useful here. First pitch to Cruz. Press twice pitching by MC Scales. And there it is. Tap ground ball on an inside fastball. And that will be out number one. So pretty varied repertoire for Akane. Looks like a little spinning, maybe sinker changeup thing there. Hard slider at level three. B, contact, A, power. Mikey now up to the plate. Here comes the 1-1 one, one pitch. Nice little, looks like that's a, an interesting little pitch. And now we've got a, a fork ball, which will drop out of the zone 2-2. Two, two. Here comes the 2-2 two, two pitch. Hung up there. Foul ball by Mikey, and now we still have another 2-2 pitch. Akane with the slow windup blows the fastball by him, 162 kilometers per hour. Here comes the level 2 fork ball low in the zone. Not a lot of sharpness on that. That's pretty easy to just kind of see. He's got to be careful not to throw that anywhere close to the zone, because that might prove deadly. We've got Skeens now up. Best hitter is going to have a struggle to get that out of the infield. Daisuke is there, and that will be out number three. So Paul takes the mound here. You've seen Paul in action before. And there it is. Keto. Wow. First pitch from Paul. Low way heater. He's on time for it. Off the end of the bat. Into center. Again, a slide piece, and that will be another hit. So we got runners on first and second. Not a good start for Matt. Here, and now we've got third baseman Takeshi. Switches over to power swing. Offers at the the vertical slider. I think the fork ball. And oh no, slide piece away. Doubles him up. For that will be a twin killing. Unfortunately kills the rally. For our men, the Kappa Academy, who now grounds out to third. And that will end it just like that. So quick two hits to start it out. But the ASU Sun Devils rebound. It's a now 0-0 here in the second. Akane with that first pitch. Now coming with the hard slider. Low away. It's going to be outside. 1-1. One, one. Now looks like... A, I don't know exactly what this pitch is. But it's like a, like a hard sinker, if you will. I'll have to look at the translation of that. Uh, but that thing's got some opposite movement as the cutter. Now we got a 2-2 pitch. Tries to get him to swing. And that will be a ball. Full count coming. He's able to get a piece of that slider, but Dice K is there, and that'll be out number one. We've now got Steve now up to the plate. Low outside, fastball. He goes the other way with it. There's the first hit for the ASU Sun Devils. Matt trying to see if he can put on a show here. Pick off to first, trying to get off, trying to hold the runner here. And I'm not too sure uh, if we'll see Steve move in here. Oh, no. Wow, he does not hit Dylan for some reason. Misses there. Misses with press twice. Looks like MC Scales having a little bit of troubles with the stretch here. Let's we'll see if they can turn two here. Oh, almost. Doesn't get him at second. Barely sneaks it in. He, and now we've got a guy at... Uh, oh, so he's safe at second, out at first. So we've got runner on two. Two strikes, two outs here. And now we've got Kyle. Gonna just take, unfortunately, two fastballs in a row. And now we'll end it. So now we've got Kazuhito up to the plate here for Kappa Academy. And Paul's ready to get back to work. S control, S stamina, 165 kilometers per hour. He's at that level seven. 
Hard slider. Oh, two. Here comes the pitch. Looks like uh, Kappa is all over that fork ball. They can see it. They can get under it. And now Daisuke up to the plate. On time. A little bit, maybe a little bit late for the fastball. One hopper to third, and that will be out too. Koske, Koske now up to the plate. Swings at that uh, fork ball low away and will ground out. So, tough game so far here. Two hits for Cap Academy, one for ASU. And now Cap up to the plate. Kane back to work. See if they can uh, really throw in a lot of strikes here. That's a lot of plate there, but looks like ASU will get underneath that. Akane will take it themselves. Now, ninth batter, Will, first baseman. Gonna jam him here with the the, the moving straight uh, little opposite cutter there. And now we've got two outs just like that. Another slower here, spinner. Here comes the reverse the reverse cutter. I'm going to start calling it that until I can figure out what the name of it is. So there it is. He's ready for that, though. That's probably going to fall. It will. Kappa plays it safe. Scales plays it safe with Megumi out there. And so now we've got two hits to two hits. Runner on first. Two outs. Cruz. He may run. Who knows? We don't know how good. Yeah, there it is. So here it is. Catcher tr uh, uh, Kusuke tries to make the throw. Cannot do it. Now we've got... 2-2-2. Two, two, two. He throws the ball out of the zone. I think that might fall. And there we have it. We've got two outs here. And now Kotetsu up to the plate. And he's going to slap it over. Oh, just over the stretching glove of the first baseman, Will, there. And now Akane up. Maybe might we see bunting here? We won't. That might get over too. It does not. Mikey's there. That is one out. Runners on first. Here in the third. Back to the top with Kido. Kido with that first pitch swing that hit last time. Maybe another that's going to fall. I think it is going to fall. Wow. Kido, two loop singles. Now runners on first and second with one out for Magumi. Wow. Magumi misses a slider there. Looks like he thought it was a fork ball there's the fork ball another soft one and it looks like matt might have thought about letting that drop and now we've got one of the best hitters for kappa takeshi converted pitcher to left left hand infielder coming to the plate and another oh it's offline he misses the tag mikey with a fatal error now bases juice for fourth hitter agawa and i think he capitalizes he does this might score two it does Runner moves to third, first and third. Wow, Mikey lets down the ASU Sun Devils. And they get two unearned runs there. Paul flustered. Not a very good showing here for his team. Lost in that first game. Didn't get the offensive help he needed. Here in this game, not getting the offensive help he needs and failed on a defensive. Oh no, what a great, what a great hit and run. Scales oh, almost tries to stretch it to three. Unfortunately, ends the inning here, but wow, damage has been done. Six hits, three runs. Now we got three, four, five coming up here, but Skeens. Oh, wow. Big, big dive at second and in right. Skeens with a lead off double. This game is crazy, guys. These are two Titans battling here. Voted the best rivalry in the Triple P in the EPL this last year between Kappa Academy. Well, sorry, not Cap Academy. It would be Scales and Matt. So the rivalry is continuing here. Looks like Scales is jumped out to a lead, though. 3-0. But Matt is threatening with their best player schemes on second. And now fifth uh, batter, Steve, up to the plate. 0-2. Going to try and get him to chase here. Looks like he's taking a bit pitches. He might have learned a little bit. Trying to force some things. Gets under a hard slider. And that will unfortunately be out number two. So, Matt's got to be thinking to himself, I just need Dylan to, to pop one over. He's going to be sitting fastball here. Just misses. 0-1. Scales is doing a pretty good job of mixing things up. But he is missing the press twice every now and then. Hopefully, oh, that was a lot of plate. Missed location. Skeens is going to make the run. The throw to home. And he's safe. 3-1. to one. Wow, Skeens with the speed. Great base running there. And Matt will get on the board. Officially, first run 
For a man, the ASU Sun Devils in this tournament as they were hitless, sorry, one hit and runless in the last game. So, fourth inning though is looking quite intense. Three to one, here comes Akane. Really trying to dabble around the zone, and here comes the high inside fastball. Gonna let it go. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. I don't know if we'll see Dylan will move here. That away pitch, though. Matt is ready for it. He's all over Akane here. MC Scales probably thinking about changing up his strategy here because it looks like Matt's all over him. He's ready here. He's letting the fastballs go, and he looks like he's sitting on the off-speed. Yeah, so he's sitting on off speed. Oh no, Scales might have made a bad error. Barely gets him at first. Wow, controlling some of the wrong players here has deemed fatal for, almost fatal for uh, MC Scales, but he barely gets out of that. And now here, we got one out just like that. As Kosuke sits a nice little fork ball. Right on time, right up the middle, hit very well. Here, the ping of the bat, runner on first. One out for Kotetsu, who might, yep, he's not gonna roll into a double play here. Just hit soften us, that the runner does move to second. And now Akane, G contact, G power, don't expect too much here. This might be the end of the inning. Matt knows he just needs to hammer zone here. Just needs to get Akane to swing at something. One, two, probably gonna see another fastball here. Uh, hard slider. Cap. Oh, almost tries to tag the run at third. Remembers it's two outs. Throws it over. And wow, just like that. End of four. Three one. Seven hits to five. This is probably one of the, the most competitive games we've seen just yet. Two battlers here with comparable teams. Very similar uh, here in the training arc. And wow, Akane, another missed pitch. Doesn't have fat pitch, so he's getting lucky not to throw one down the middle, but is 1 1. And I think Matt has him figured out. He looks like he's sitting on the off speed. So he's let a lot go here. He's letting it go deep in the count. Looks like what he's trying to do. I think what Matt's trying to do now is trying to just let Akane outwork themselves. So he can see a new pitcher. He, and there is one out and a soft ground ball. Now to the top of the order with Cruz. B hitting Cruz. Does swing at that fastball. Here comes a hard slider. Let's it go. Working the count. Looks like, uh, what about 40, 30% of the bar, a third of the bar. Um, Akane's bar is now down here. And we got a nice big hit there by Cruz to get on first. One out, guy in first. Mikey up. Mikey's going to try and redeem himself after the error that cost three runs here. We might see some movement by Cruz. Might see hit and run, might see steal. Oh, I think Mikey did. I think we're going to see the runner go to third, too. He does. Kito tries to make the throw, but safe at third. First and third. One out for Skeens. Wow. So Scales really has to think about his strategy here. Hard slider. I think Cruz is going to tag. Oh, he, no, no. He tags late. The arm is not good enough, though, by Kito out in center. So it is now 3-2. Runner on first. The ASU Sun Devils are chipping away. Now Paul up to the plate. Tapped. Oh, he tries to steal early. He's caught stealing. <laughs> wow, what that extra little bit of hell hold by Scales. Uh, Matt just got a little bit too aggressive. And that will end the half inning. So moving on, we got top of order. Kito now up, ready to go on that outside slider. Right to Will. Will's going to take it over himself. And that will be out number one. So Megumi. One thing I like here is uh, Scales added the voices to all of his players. Which was great. Looks like they also the announcer also pronounces their names too, which is super cool. So, but that's two outs, and now Takeshi ground ball here, and that will be the out at first. All right, moving into the six. Paul now up after uh, that that pickoff or that that early steal. Paul fly out to to Kito. Looks like the the sound for some reason is a bit off here on the video file. So, uh, apologies for that. I'm um, not sure what happened in their recording, but wow, safe on that easy little tapper. Now Dylan's up to the plate. All right, so we've got Akane, who has been getting into a lot of trouble here lately. I don't know how far he's going to go into this. The juice bar is getting a little bit uh, slower. All right, double play probably coming here. Gets it. Double play. And now we move on to the bottom of the six. Kappa Academy trying to extend the lead. 
is able to hit one over. I don't know if Will can get there. Oh, over the shoulder, Willie Mays catch. And now we've got Kazuhito up here. And there we've got uh, one strike here. And a pop-up. Looks like Paul will run over and get it himself. And that will be two outs. Dice K up to the plate. Paul really kind of mowing down Kappa Academy, but I think Dice K does get an, uh, a hit here. Almost every MC scales hit right now. Kappa Academy hit has come from that vertical slider, that fork ball, or that hard slider. So the hit and run. He's going to go to third. He's going to be super aggressive. Oh, that is three. So I need to play, pay better close and closer attention to how many outs. So uh, here to the top seven, Akane. Going to try and go up against these seven, eight, nine hitters. Still uh, doing okay. Nice little pop out here. I think Akane... Uh, Scales may want Akane to go the distance. I think if I was him, I would want that to happen. I don't know who he has in the pen, but in this tight 2-3 game, a lot can happen. Kito is able to get there on a pretty well hit ball. And now we've got the ninth batter, Will. And another one. He is all over Akane here. So if I'm MC Scales, I'm thinking... Uh, if we get another runner to second or third, I might start to get a bit worried. All right, Katetsu tries to make a play out at first, and that is three. So Kane does get out of it. Eight hits for Kappa, nine hits for ASU. So ASU does take the lead and hits. Let's see if uh, Kappa can continue to keep them off. But Matt is heating up, and Paul is still dominating. So we are not going to see... Uh, Akane being taken out. Akane might continue to go the distance here. Leaving Akane into hit with one out. G's across the board. So he's going to stick with Akane. All right, we've got one out. Uh, one ball, two strikes here. Here comes the pitch from Paul. And gets him on a moving slider outside of the zone for a strike. Now to the top of the order with Kido. See if Kido can get yet another uh, little bloop single. And down the line, but it looks like Will will be there. It looks like he was going to do power swing there. I was questioning that for a second, but he switched off. And now we've got the 2-3-4 batters coming up. This might be the best chance for Matt coming up here. We've got Mikey Skeens coming up here back to back. So, got to be careful. Wow, a lot of plate there. Just misses it. Dice K makes a play, so that's one out. So, Skeens now up. Who's basically got two hits on the day here. Uh, the, the double here and then the RBI. Here comes the next pitch and a soft ground ball. Another out uh, opportunity for Dice K. And now they're going down with a little bit of a whimper. But look, we see the first sign of stress by Akane. And now look how small that press twice pitching circle is. Akane don't know if he's going to be able to go nine here. I know Scales will want that to happen. But Matt's uh, getting a little bit swing happy here. If I see that stamina bar right now, I'm taking until I get two strikes. I'm trying to force Akane to give me a pitch or get out of the game. Maybe we'll see that here in the ninth. We're not too sure. We'll see what uh, see what kind of happens here. So there is contact on the fork ball. That'll be a pop out to cap. And that'll be out number one here in the bottom of eight. Last three chances for Matt coming out here, hoping not to fall to 0-2 with this stellar team. Takeshi, with a rip, is able to be on top of that uh, away slider. One of the easiest pitches to hit, in my opinion. High away slider, mid away slider, and uh, especially uh, to a lefty. Takeshi is able to smash that in, but uh, looks like another fork ball popped underneath it. Now we got two outs. Kazuhito going to try and keep the dream alive. He does. Away vertical slider or fork ball, I should say. Now first and second, two outs for Dice K. Purple mood. Let's see what happens here. And down the line. Oh wow, goes for the dive, misses it. O1 pitch is able to watch that go. Let's see if uh, they can score this much needed run. It does not look like it. Mikey gonna try and make that play. He does. That is three outs. Now moving into the ninth. This is it. Three two game. Last chances. Akane is tired. He is stressed. Here comes the first pitch. All right. Barely. Very a nice, very, very good dot. Here comes pitch number two. And that will get down lefty Takeshi over to first. And that is one out. Now up for Dylan. Let's see if Akane can go the distance. A lot of fastballs early. 
Oh one, here comes pitch number two. Lots of plate. Ogawa is there to catch it, and now down to the last out. Kyle down to his last out, and I think Akane is done. They're going to bring in Nagumo for this last one. Nagumo also with Iron Ball, and they're probably trying to attack the zone here. Looks like he's got Intimidator too. Wow, so he's got Intimidator and Iron Ball. Here comes the pitch. Ground ball to Katetsu. Katetsu will make it over, and that will be it. That is the game. Kappa Academy on top. The SU Sun Devils, 3-2. to two. So this will mean Kappa Academy moves to 1-0 here in the Pool uh, A. Unfortunately, ASU moves to 0-2 with really just two-run differential difference. Lost 0-1 in the first game, lost 3-2 this game. Akane and Kazuhito are players of the game. Wow, congratulations to, uh, to look at that one eye. That one eye is crazy to me. I, I don't know how you did that, Scales, but uh, there it is. So let's take a look at the box score. All right, so Akane will get the win. Nagumo will get the save. Paul will get the loss. 10 hits to 9, 3 to 2 is the final scores. All right, so Cruz goes two for four on the ASU side. Mikey with that one hit, that that big error, though, that's uh, that's tough. So Skeens goes one for three with the double and the RBI and the run. Paul, hitless Steve, two hits. And only two Ks for this side, though, for ASU. So Kane only got two Ks that game. Paul, eight innings, 53, bat or 53 pitches, 33 face. The 10 hits, just the one K on his side as well. On the Kappa side, Quito, those two blue pits got that run. Looks like everybody got a hit except for Iconic. Kazuhito, player of the game as we saw with the two hits as well. Uh, got the RBI. Ogawa got two RBIs though. So, you know, but anyways, Takeshi looks like, uh, you know, did an error, one run, one hit. Um, but yeah, just the just the 1K and Akane was that final K and I think it was the last at bat that they had. Take a look at Akane, eight and two thirds, 88, which is 35, nine hits. Wow, what a game, guys. This was a crazy intense game. Love to see games like this. But yes, uh, we'll be jumping into some more action here pretty quickly. Congrats to Skins and the Hey, Matt, you'll go get him next time. Appreciate you guys watching. Until the next one.